Hello everyone, welcome to my talk. I'm Su Shuaigong, a PhD student from Purdue University. Today I'm going to present Snowboard, a kernel testing framework that can find concussion bugs. Snowboard is a joint work between Purdue University and Google Research. Here is the real world example of a kernel concussion bugs. This bug was found in the Linux config file system and it is triggered when two different kernel threads concurrently invoke a seek and a lookup operation. Specifically, on the left side, the seek operation will first delete an element from a shared list, modify that element, and finally insert a new element back into the list. On the right side, the lookup operation will simply go over every element in the shared list and perform a few checks. Now imagine there are two kernel threads that are running these operations in parallel, in a specific execution order, where the operation list delete just deleted an element in the shared list, and the lookup thread is trying to retrieve that element, which is no longer valid at this moment. A kernel panic would happen due to a non-pointed reference. Our analysis indicates this bug existed in the Linux kernel for over 14 years, until our tool Snowball found it. Finding this bug or any other concurrent bugs is not easy. The first challenge is that it is hard to find the error-inducing concurrent input. To do kernel concurrency testing, we first need to provide the kernel with the concurrent input, which will make two kernel threads concurrently run the kernel code to serve this input. If we did not provide the kernel with the correct input, the kernel code that has a concurrency bug will never be executed. Second, once two kernel threads are running concurrently, we still need to find the interleaving that actually exposes the bug. We need to try different interleavings of the two threads and see if any errors happen. However, neither of them is easy. Let's take a close look at the concurrent input challenge. A concurrent input needs to make system calls, which are the interfaces provided by the kernel, to both kernel threads. For each thread, a sequence of system calls needs to be decided. Here we are talking about finding system call, system call combinations from over 400 system calls. Second, we have to decide the parameters for each system call, which is also very hard considering the various parameters each system call has. Finally, don't forget these system calls might have, they might have data control dependencies. For example, a return value from one system call could be the parameter in another system call. Figuring out all the dependencies within the kernel interface is nearly impossible. Considering all three factors, finding the error-inducing concurrent inputs is challenging. In addition, even though somehow we have the input, what we will be faced with is another huge search space, the interleaving space. The figure on the right side shows the number of possible interleavings when each thread has a certain number of instructions on average. We can see that when each thread has 20 instructions, the number of possible interleavings is crazy. And of course, a real kernel thread could be executing 1 million instructions, the number of possible interleavings simply goes out of mass light. So the challenge in finding error-induced interleaving is that there are always so many possible interleavings, but only a few of them would expose a bug. Now you might be wondering how Snowboard found concurrent bugs like the one we just saw. A short answer to that is Snowboard can first predict the possible thread inductions that may happen under concurrent, execu concurrent execution. Specifically, it can find interesting interactions that may cause concurrent bugs. Second, instead of exploring all possible interleavings, Snowball focuses on the interleaving of the interactions, which is already enough to expose a bug. We formulate the concept of thread induction as potential memory communication. When two threads run in parallel, on a shared memory, if one thread updates a shared variable and another thread reads that variable, then this pair of write and read accesses constitute a potential memory communication. The problem with PMC is that the execution order of the two accesses is not deterministic, which means the write could happen before or after the read. First, if the write happens before the read, the reader thread could be affected by the newly updated variable. Second, if the write happens after the read, 
the reader thread would be operating on out-of-date data. Both interleavings are common reasons for can has bars to happen. Based on this observation, Snowball decided to find can has bars by testing PMCs. Specifically, it performs three tasks. First, it finds PMCs in the kernel. Second, it prioritizes a certain PMC to test. And finally, it explores interleavings of PMCs to find concurrent bugs. Let's start with finding PMCs. There might be some possible approaches to do this. For example, one thing we can try is brute force search. We could randomly generate concurrent inputs, execute them, and see if they could cause any PMCs. However, this approach is unsystematic and very similar to trying to win this game using a slot machine, which clearly does not scale on the kernel. Second, we could use static analysis to read and analyze the kernel source code. However, static analysis is less precise on kernels because kernels always have so many data or function pointers. So we propose a new approach, and it is called dynamic sequential input analysis. This technique works on sequential inputs, which are sequences of system calls that can trigger the kernel to run some code. And this technique will find a list of PMCs in the kernel. Our technique will profile and analyze the single thread execution of system calls. Let's say we have a system call sequence. We execute it in the kernel and profile the memory accesses made by the kernel thread to share the memory. We repeat this process on another system call sequence run it in the kernel, collect its execution profile, and now our technique will predict the PMCs. We look at their execution profiles and search for the pair of write and read accesses that touch the same memory area. In this case, this pair would be a PMC. Execution profiles collected from arbitrary kernel states would not make sense for this analysis. And what makes this analysis sound is that we always use the fixed kernel state. Each execution profile is collected from the same kernel state, so if a write and a read accesses from two different profiles touch the same memory address, it is more likely that they are accessing the same kernel resource. This is how Snowball finds the PMCs. Next, Snowball will prioritize certain PMCs to test among all PMCs found. Reasons for doing this are, first, there are, also, there are so many PMCs in the kernel, and we could imagine most of, most of them should be harmless, otherwise the kernel should be crashing every second. In addition, testing PMCs is expensive. As a result, prioritizing the most suspicious PMCs is super important for the efficiency of concurrency testing. To do this, Snowball uses a novel technique called the clustering strategy. Now imagine each dot on the right side is a unique PMC. Snowball first clusters similar PMCs, for example, PMCs that involve the same instructions. The intuition behind is that similar PMCs may trigger the same kernel behavior, for instance, the same concurrency bug. So testing all of them is less rewarding than testing another distinct PMC. Second, Snowball prioritizes smaller clusters, which are less likely to be tested naturally, so smaller clusters are more likely to trigger unexplored cases. Finally, Snowball samples one PMC from each cluster. Since PMCs in the same cluster should be similar, to te so testing one of them is already sufficient. Finally, Snowball will test the prioritized PMCs. To test the PMC under concurrent execution, we first execute the concurrent input. And, of course, we use the fixed kernel state. So both the write and the read accesses in that PMC are likely to be reproduced. Two kernel threads will then run the code to serve this concurrent input, and the PMC we found could happen. Snowball will explore their interleavings and monitor execution result to detect any concurrency bugs. We applied Snowball to recent Linux kernel releases, which led to the finding of 14 new concurrency bugs. Many of them have serious impact on users causing kernel panics or file system errors. Some bugs existed for years. We also did a side-by-side -side comparison between our approach and the traditional random input generation approach. The result shows Snowball is much more effective. 
In the paper, in the paper, we also provide more details on the design or evaluation of a snowball. If you are interested, please read the paper. To sum up, Snowball is a testing framework that can find kernel concurrency bugs. It finds PMCs. It finds it find concurrency bugs by testing PMCs, a pair of write and read accesses to shared resources, and they can easily cause concurrency bugs. Specifically, it first finds PMCs in the kernel, and then prioritizes certain PMCs to test. Finally, it tests the PMC with different interleavings to find any potential concurrency bugs. Our evaluation shows that Snowball is effective in finding new concurrency bugs, including bugs that existed for a long time. The artifact of it is publicly accessible. Thank you.